Thousands of seriously ill patients travel to Indiana each year for specialized treatment at area hospitals. And many times their families desperately need a place to stay. This month's Jefferson Award recipient suffered through her own crisis and is now giving others refuge in the storm. My prayers have been answered. This has been a godsend for us. This apartment is Michelle Allen's home away from home. I got the call from Amanda and she said, I know it's been a while, but do you still need the apartment? Or are you ready to go home? And I said, oh, no, I do need it. Michelle's actual home is hundreds of miles away in North Carolina. But her husband is receiving specialized care for a serious medical condition in an Indianapolis hospital. They've been here a year now in and out of that hospital with thousands spent on hotels and necessities. I had maxed out one credit card and I was right near the end thinking, what am I going to do? And I had been praying, thinking, Lord, please help me. You know, I don't know what to do. Amanda Milner was their saving grace. So this is one thing that they don't have to worry about. Amanda founded the Fairhaven Foundation, which provides fully furnished housing close to local hospitals for out-of-town patients and their families at no charge to them. It's refuge in the midst of their storm. Our name comes from the Mediterranean islands of Fairhavens, and um, that was mentioned in the book of Acts when the Apostle Paul ship was traveling to Rome, and it says it got caught in a storm and the ship took refuge at a port called Fairhavens. Amanda knows firsthand the rough waters patients and their families face. I had um, my own experience with cancer. I was diagnosed at age 30 with Hodgkin's lymphoma, and that was especially difficult timing for me. I had was a stay-at-home mom, and I had a two-year-old and a one-year-old. And um, just a few weeks earlier, my husband had left. Amanda leaned on her faith. Her church gave her support, even provided a place to live. So uh, when I went back to work and started meeting patients and families that needed that support and needed a place to live, it just felt like um, a divine opportunity to give those gifts that I've been given. Amanda, congratulations on receiving the Jefferson Award. Thank you. I don't know how long we're going to have to be here. You know, I'm hoping every day we can get home soon. Until then, Fair Haven will help ease the burden. Amanda overcame her crisis with the help of others and believes she's called to share that compassion. I'm just grateful. I want to use the days that I've been given to help people that are still in the fight. And I don't think anything could give your life more meaning and purpose and joy than to give back like that. If you're thinking of someone you'd like to nominate for the Jefferson Award, all you have to do is go to our website, theindychannel.com, click in the Life section, and then Jefferson Awards. You can fill out a nomination form and learn more about the Jefferson Awards. A special committee of community leaders in central Indiana will review the nominees and select one winner each month.